Hey guys, so today what I had planned was to show you how to do an applique design. And applique, what it is, is um, stitching and fabric use, um, whatever fabric it is that you want to use um, on your design. And so I figured let's do something very simple. I was going to do a little bear, but then I thought, eh, or a little crab, but I didn't have the white. You need white fabric for the little eyes because the, the design I have doesn't um, fill it in white. So I was like, well, I will do this. So what I wanted to do is show you guys so that if you wanted to do this exact same kind of project, you would have the design and it was free. So I already have the Futura Quintet here all set up. It has the small hoop on it. I have it off right now because I was kind of playing with it earlier and I just left it off. But what you're going to need is a couple of scraps. I'm going to make um, a cupcake design. So I'm going to use, this is just regular like quilters cotton. And these are just remnants from Joanne's, guys. Whenever you can find something like this and it's a color that you like, just grab it because you can do lots of different stuff with it. So this is like a dollar or two. Well, actually, I guess two something. Um, and then this little piece here ended up being a couple bucks, but these are almost a yard on each one of these. But anyway, so I'm going to use this for the cupcake base and this for the cupcake top. And then there's going to be some embroidering over that. So this is flannel. And this is um, just cotton. I, I found these there at Joanne's the other day with these cute little stars. I'm going to use these. This would be cute too. Whatever you need. And some applique scissors. And I have some, but I can't find them after the move. So I went and bought more. These were $35, guys. So they are gingers, so that's probably why. But uh, I use a coupon. So anyhow, whenever they're on sale or if you can find a, a set that's less expensive, then grab those. But these are all they had. They only had this one and one left. So I grabbed it. But basically, I'll show you what applique scissors looks like. It has like a duck bill kind of thing here that you can butt it up right against your fabric to cut around it to get rid of the excess um, material and it won't like cut into your fabric but you can if you get very careful you can do it with regular scissors okay so I have my computer on already and what I wanted to show you guys and I'll just bring my hopefully I can bring this tripod over without making too much of a mess here um, is this is a site I like to use, and I have nothing to do with this site. Sometimes people say oh, when I mention something, it's because they gave it to me free or whatever. I have nothing to do with this site. I actually just bought some right now because this is, I mentioned this, is, this site to you guys the other day. It's Designs by Juju, um, and it's designsbyjuju.com. And I've ordered from them before, like, oh gosh, probably two or three years ago. And um, they always have these cool deals where if you buy a set... Um, you can get three sets free by so basically their sets cost twenty dollars each and they have like alphabets and they have cute sets of different designs and things like that so it's up to you what you want to pick but if you do to one set and got three free that means you can get four sets for twenty bucks which is awesome buy two sets get eight free so you can get ten sets for forty bucks and then they have buy three sets get fifteen sets free which is what I just did I spent sixty dollars and I got eighteen sets of what the you know kinds of things that they um sell designs and I'm telling you they have such cute I never saw that one it's right in the front, but I didn't get this one because I saw it was a font, but I'm sure they sell this. And their design sets aren't just like, okay, just this bunny. It'll have like 10 or 15 different things. The alphabets will have, you know, anywhere between 26, 52, 56, or sorry, 52 or 70, whatever. <laughs> you just keep multiplying from there, depending on the sizes they come with. So they're really well designed, awesome, gorgeous designs. I've never had a problem working with them. Um, one thing is if when you buy them, they'll tell you there what the particular sizes are, and then you just go from there. But... This is their homepage. What I wanted to show you is that there is a tag uh, right in the middle here. It says free embroidery designs. I know it's hard to see. I don't think I can get much closer without it freaking out. Let's see. So free embroidery designs. So you click on that. And under the free designs, generally when you buy a design from them, you're going to pick what kind of machine you have and how you want it um, as far as the format, right? Because um, just machines have different formatting. And then you download it. Um, well, I'll show you right there in a second. So they have all these free cute things, and I've already downloaded all of them, because why not? They're free, right? Um, there's another applique design. But the one we're using, you just keep scrolling down, is this cupcake right here. So um, you just click on download file, and it's going to download them in all, all the, um, what's the word? In all the different formats. Just because it's free, they're not going to have you choosing which one you want. It's just going to download all of them, okay? And then you save it on your computer wherever you want to save it, okay? So that's what I did. So this was a free download from Cute as a Cupcake Applique. That's a set you can buy. But they gave you this one free from there. Um, and when I just, like I said, I bought 18 sets right now. And basically this is what happens. As soon as you buy them, they're available to download. So as soon as I bought them, they're right here. Download file, download file. They also email it to you, so you can get an email. If you want it on a CD, they, I think it costs like $7, and they'll send it to you on a CD. But what I do is I download them, and I back it up on a CD, 
or DVD, whatever you, well, CD. And then I keep that CD forever because um, I don't want to lose my designs even though they're on my computer. And I think you can access them again with them for a certain time, I'm not sure. So anyway, I, those are the 18 I bought and you just click download file, download them, save them, and then you can use them, okay? So with all that said, I'm going to turn the machine on and we'll okay, so get started. in the Futura software and it always gives you a tip unless you say not to, so I'm just going to close that. Um, you know, I'm going to set this to work with inches. I haven't done that yet. Um, if you haven't set your machine to work with inches or metric system, then go ahead and do that, which I have not, so I'm just going to say okay. Alright, so now we're at inches. But anyhow, um, and now this loop, this does not look right. I'm using this small hoop, so I'm going to change that to... It's on the large hoop for whatever reason, so I'm going to change to small. And that was under tools. I've already shown you guys this kind of stuff on the other video I did, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking about that because I want to get right to it. So, to open up that cute little file with the cupcake, we are going to go over here to the design tab, and we're going to click on it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm always I always want to say design tab. You can go to different places, a design library or whatever it is. And this time we're going to go to file. Sorry, designs later. <laughs> so we're going to click on file or highlight it and go open designs. The second um, tab down. And then, oh, I was already there, so let me just back up so you guys will see. It's basically going to go to wherever you want it to go. Obviously, you're going to direct your um, your folders, and I was already in my embroidery stuff, so that's why I pulled it up so easily. And I'm going to put CompuCon designs to look for the XXX designs, because, like I said, when you download that free one, it's going to give you all the formats of all the machines that they sell, so I don't want to see all of them, and I don't know which one to pick at that point. So I'm just going to say look for XXX designs, which is what Singer uses. And I want the cupcake. So here I have a cupcake apple. Okay, I'm going to double click on that. And it's going to open that design. And that's all that there is in there. If I had left it all designs, it's going to come up with a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to click on that. And it shows you a cute little picture of it. You cannot see any of these things unless you're in the program, okay? So if you try to just look at them, you know, on whatever, when your computer's not plugged in or when your um, sewing machine's not plugged in, it's not going to happen. So I'm just going to say, okay, because that's what I want. And it comes in one size, guys. So just know that that's the size it is, and that's what it is. Um, now, I want to see something real quick, because it went back to the large hoop. There's always some little issues. Sometimes it might be too big. That might be the problem. So see, it goes right up to where it's not going to want to print anymore for you. You see these edges right here? That means you can't sew outside those lines, because the machine just won't do it. So this is good. I'm glad to see that it did fit. I don't see why not. I mean, it's not huge. You can put smaller items into a larger hoop, but you can't really bring larger hoop items into a small hoop most of the time because it'll go out of boundaries unless you resize it. So, here it is. Now, with the appliques, what happens is you're going to have placement lines. It's going to stitch a placement line, then you're going to put your fabric down. It's going to stitch one to hold it down, and then it's going to stitch the satin stitch over that. So, you got to kind of pay attention to what's going on, and then it kind of lets you know what it's going to be doing and when, okay? So... For this one, it's going to be doing the placement first for the cupcake liner, the placement, and then the holder, the placement, the holder, and then it's going to do the other satin stitches and the other little cute things that you're going to need. So the first thing it's going to stitch is the cupcake um, base. So what I'm going to do is cut out a little bit of fabric. I'm going to kind of look at this and see about how big a piece of fabric I need. And I'm going to cut that out, and we're going to, um, I'll come okay, back so at that I point. I the fabric. I have some of the pink flannel. It's like a 3 by 4 piece here, and then the flowery one, okay? And what we're going to use, we're going to stick this down to our, um, I'm doing a burp cloth for now, but um, to our item with a little bit of um, our spray adhesive. But before we get there, let's just go ahead and say we want to transmit the image to the machine, because there's nothing for us to do other than to start off by placing the fabrics, okay? So uh, I already put beige. Um, thread into my machine. It still has the embroidery bobbin, that little thin white thread, but I put um, like a beige color in the machine that way um, it'll sew it and it's not going to be too dark. So I clicked to transmit it to the machine and it's going to be this image here. It's the very first placement line to let you know where you should put the cupcake wrapper, right? So um, I'm going to say to go ahead to send block and then the machine's going to turn green. I already have my small hoop on there the green lights on. We need to put down our leg there and I'm going to say start. And again I'm holding on to that little extra that just sticks out. You know how I like to do that. Ooh. And it's going to show a placement line. Okay, so that's what it's showing right now. All it is the thin line that's going to show you this is where you need to put your fabric for this to work. 
so which is great. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my spray and sip. And it's done and it just cut it off. You recall it snips it off for you. I'm gonna keep using the same color so I don't care that it snipped it off, but we'll just leave it there. So what I'm gonna do is take my base fabric, which is this guy here. And I'm gonna, it's hard to see. I'm gonna spray it with my spray somewhere where it's not gonna get spray all over my machine. So I'm gonna put my little fabric down over here. I'm gonna spray the back of it, make it a little bit sticky. And I'm gonna lift up the foot and lift this up. Now there are lines here. I know, let me, okay, hopefully you can see them because I did beige, you know, um, what's the word? Um, thread, so it's gonna be hard to see. But there's a little outline here. It looks kind of like a crown, but it's basically the base of the cupcake. So I'm gonna take my fabric that we just sprayed a little bit of sticky stuff on, and I'm gonna put it on here so that it'll fit under the foot. We don't want that. It's already wanting to stick down and just place it wherever and I can kind of feel the lines actually so here we go and like I said I want to use the same thread even though it cut it off and I can disable that you don't have to keep that function on to cut the thread you can disable it either here or you're supposed to look at pages 80 something or so or so and it's supposed to tell you how to do that but I'm just gonna pull it I'm gonna put my presser foot down so now I'm gonna send the block again hopefully you can see over here ah, let me pan over <laughs> We are going to go to the next block, so that was the one we just did. We're going to go to the next block, and it says to outline it in pink, but it's just a different color, so you know. I'm going to put send block. The machine's going to get in place. Sorry, guys. The machine just went and got in place. Again, I'm going to hold the thread, because that's what I like to do, but you don't have to. And I'm going to press start, stop. And this is going to help hold down your fabric. It's just a thin line. Now, they say if you want to ease this through here, you can use some chopsticks to help you hold it down so that the fabric doesn't buckle or move. But it's down pretty good there. And I'm telling you, this is what I use. Quilt basting spray by June Taylor. And I love it. And it's hard to see. Okay. So, now, this is the scary part. I haven't done this before. What I'm going to, just undid it. Okay, everything's cool. We're going to lift the foot up. Lift up. Because we are going to take the hoop out. Now we're gonna take the hoop out. Nothing's changing, nothing's moving. We're not gonna unhoop anything. We're just taking the hoop out, okay? So I'm gonna press the release button here. I'm gonna pull this out, and the machine's gonna freak out and tell me, hey, you took the <laughs> hoop out. Yes, I know. Okay, so what you're supposed to do now is get your scissors, and you're gonna cut off all the excess. All this excess stuff here, we're gonna cut that out. So I'm just gonna start wherever looks good. But basically, you're just gonna go around the very edges of all the fabric and follow that trim. Follow where you have the, all those little stitch lines, okay? So I'll come back once I've done cutting it. Okay, so that's all done. There we go. And you want to get as close to those stitches as you can. It's going to do a satin stitch over it, but you really want to make sure that you get pretty close because you don't want that fabric sticking out at the end and having to trim it some more. So now I'm going to replace this because, um, you know, you need to, but also, um, you don't unhoop it at all. If you unhoop it, you're going to mess up where it was and it's not going to sew exactly where you want it to sew. So again, I'm going to place this back in here, put it into the side so that it clicks. It starts going in there. Lift up your presser foot, pick it up so it actually accepts the hoop and just push it back in. Okay, I'm going to put down my presser foot. It's all clicked in there. And the machine, since you unhooked it, it says, hey, you took the hoop out, what's up, you know? So I already put it back, and I'm gonna say continue. I know it's hard to see, guys. So now we're gonna go to the next block, which is going to be the very top, the placement lines for the top. So I'm gonna go to the next, I'm gonna send the block, and again, I am going to uh, allow it to sew the placement lines. Again, it just stopped. I'm going to lift the presser foot, and I'm gonna pull my little string back and now it has lines here I know they're hard to see for the top part of the cupcake okay that our placement lines are there and hopefully you can kind of see it's kind of quilted into the fabric there so now I'm going to take my fabric that I already put that sticky stuff on and I'm going to place it under here to get that going and you want to place it so that obviously the whole thing gets covered so you kind of have to eyeball especially the way I cut it I cut it kind of crazy and then I have these things I probably shouldn't have included here but that's all right Okay, well good luck because <laughs> I used the very edge of the fabric because I was being tight and now I have that. So now I'm going to lower the foot 
We already have our fabric placed and it is very nice and sticky and it's gonna be awesome. So now um, we're gonna skip to the next block because that was the placement block and the next one's gonna hold down our fabric. So let's send the block. And I'm gonna hold the string again and I'm gonna press it to go ahead and start. Okay, we just finished doing the, the um, lines that are gonna hold it down. Again, I'm just going to take this off. Actually, I think I'm done with this thread, so I'm gonna unthread this anyway. So we're gonna lift the presser foot, get that thread out, and then we're gonna start with more of the design. So what I'm gonna do again is unlock it here, take the hoop out, and trim around all this excess. As you can see how cute. It looks like a little puffy cloud. So I'm gonna trim all this away. So I replaced the, um, the frame, and after I trimmed all that around, I put some white thread in my spool here because I'm gonna be using the white uh, rayon thread by Guterman, that one is. And we're gonna go to the next block, and the next block is to put the little lines over your, cuff, your cupcake liner. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and send that block, and from here, I mean, it's basically all regular stuff. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do the cupcake liner, and then I'll come back and show you the satin stitch one, and then from there I'll just continue working, because it's just like if you were embroidering anything else, you just switch out the colors when you need to, okay? So I'm gonna send the block for this, the little lines of the cupcake liner, and I'll come back. Just finish making those cute little lines you can see here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is switch out my white thread to this pink color. I'm so sorry about the lighting. It's just that the light that comes from here, the light that comes from outside, it's raining. Um, this is color 4810 by um, Guterman, and I love this color. It's like a bright pink. So I'm gonna switch that out, but what I'm gonna show you is that um, the next thing we're gonna do is this satin stitch that's gonna go all the way around the cupcake liner and just make it nice and cute. So I'm gonna skip to that one, and that's what it's gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change out the thread and then click send block and I'll come okay, back when I see that gorgeous satin stitch It did a really good job. It went over it like three or four times and then it did the satin stitch So it's nice and built up and thick so it's beautiful uh, I'm gonna do the outline the next thing is outlining the cupcake itself and I'm gonna do purple I don't know what I was thinking I should have done this pink at the top and then maybe just white or black around this but that's okay so I'm gonna do purple and Then after that it's just gonna ask you to keep switching out your colors according to What's next so there's gonna be polka dots. There's gonna be a flower and polka dots on like sprinkles on the on the cupcake. So that part I'm just gonna do because it's just like embroidering. I already have a huge long video on that, and this one's getting longer than I thought. So uh, I'm gonna do that, and I'll come back when it's all okay, done. Guys, so it's all done. Um, it just beeped. It's the last you know amount of things I need to do. I'm gonna um, take it off of the. Um, the carriage because I'm gonna add her name and I think we settled on her name. My husband's like, if that's what you want. So um, I'm gonna add her name on here. I'm not gonna advertise it to everybody in the world. So um, not even my family knows other than my kids and you know my husband and myself. So uh, you see all these little different things on here. You just gotta snip them at the very beginning. And what's good about these kind of um, embroidery machines when you get a good quality um, product plus the uh, design is that whenever it starts and stops at any point, even these little sprinkles where it starts it, it's gonna really anchor it, do this, the sprinkle, and then anchor it again before it goes on to the next one. So whenever you cut these, it's not gonna unravel. So basically I would unhoop this first and then it's easier to get under them to cut them. But um, what you're gonna do is just cut all these extra little strings off and get rid of them so that your design's not all modeled with them strings and that's it how cute is that i was never able to do this on the c100 because it would freak out and i don't know if it was the machine because it's the same software but i had a vista run computer and vista caused problems for everybody if you remember that so i kept having patches and all these other things and it would not as soon as you take this off to um you know to add the different layers it would freak out didn't know what it was doing anymore and that would be it so it was really unfortunate so i'm so happy that this machine is handling it it's beautiful i love it oh my gosh this makes me so happy so thanks for watching i'll have pictures for you and then um hopefully i'll have some more tutorials but i just wanted to share this really quickly on how to do this kind of thing and after this you just shut it down if you want to save your design you can save it on the computer but otherwise you just shut it down and you're good to go so thanks for watching guys bye now